Hi everyone. This week I made myself a battering. I'm going to show you how I did it. Welcome back to the City Aperture channel on YouTube. My name is Jose. Uh, I'm, I go by City Aperture. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about this battering, I'll bring it up closer to the camera, that I made. It's based on the battering from the new Batman movies that have been coming out in the last couple of years. There was a Batman vs Superman and then uh, now there's going to be a Justice League one. And that's where I got the idea for this. In the trailer for that movie you see Batman sort of throw it at the Flash. So I said I want to make myself my own, and we'll walk you right now through how I did it. Uh, the first step was, of course, to model the battering. I used um, 123 Design from Autodesk to model it. Um, I, I understand that software is no longer available, but uh, Fusion 360 would work just as well. I modeled it in two halves, and just because it would be easier as far as supports and whatnot to model it that way. The idea being I'm going to glue it after I 3D printed it. Once it was modeled, I 3D printed it uh, using not the highest resolution, sort of a medium resolution, about 0.2 millimeters for the layer height. Once I had both halves printed, I glued it together. I used a five minute epoxy to glue it together. A lot of binder clips had to be used in order to hold it. That way I ended up with a battering that is symmetrical. Both halves were the same and uh, yeah, glued together fairly well and I got the nice beveled edges for the sharp ends. After the gluing, there was just a ton of sanding. There was sanding, I would then spray it with some, uh, some uh, filler primer. I would also put some, uh, some Bondo and some uh, modeling putty to sort of try and get some of the raised edges from the 3D print that were there. And uh, I thought went back and sanded quite a, quite a few times. The sanding process was the longest part of this. Uh, Once it was sanded and it was nice and smooth though, I hit it with one last filler primer layer and then I got to the painting. I did a glossy black coat of paint. 
And that's sort of the primary coat so that way when I painted it the metal color, which you'll, you can see using my uh, airbrush, it would give it a nice sort of shine still going through. I then got some uh, acrylic paints and just sort of filled some of the edges and some of the recessed parts that you can see here in the battery. I just filled them in a little bit to give it a little depth. I then got some silver acrylic paint and just sort of hit the edges, sort of a dry brush technique. This makes it seem like, you know, it's seen a little bit of battle, it's a little scratched. Um, and yeah, and that's it, you know, simple enough. I'll put, a, you know, <laughs> It took me a while to do it just because every time it would sand it and then spray paint it again it would sort of I would find more edges that weren't completely right or the way I wanted it to be so you know it was a back and forth I was also taking it to some maker fairs with me to, to show it off and uh, kids would play with it and it would get dinged up so I had to repaint and resand um, but now that it's done I'm just gonna hit it with a this is some fast drying polyurethane and that'll seal all the finished paint uh, I'll also put some photos up of it, uh, but it's, I mean, it's something that you can do on a weekend. Uh, I'll try, well, I'll see if I can put the model up somewhere, maybe on Thingiverse or something. I don't typically do that, but I'll think about it, and then we can, uh, you guys can make your own if you want. Um, simple enough, 3D print, glue together, and then sand and paint, so, yeah, that's it. That's how I made my battering. I'll have this up on display somewhere, I haven't figured out where yet. But uh, hopefully you like this. If you did, please like the channel, subscribe, so you can see more projects. I'm going to have more projects coming up. And uh, that's the best way of following the channel and, and yeah, checking out more of my work. So thanks so much for watching. There's a battering again. Battering. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time. If you guys like this project, then maybe you'll enjoy the podcast that I do with my two colleagues, Claudia and Ray. We discuss purpose-driven design, making, and manufacturing. We talk about architecture. We talk about all sorts of making. We have a project of the week. So, uh, yeah, please check it out. Again, it's called The Made Podcast. Thanks so much.